Hey y'all, welcome back to Liam's Tips and Tricks channel. Tonight we're going to go over gold and how to <coughs> how to get it effectively um, and where, uh, where everywhere that you can get it is. Hopefully uh, you'll hear some new tricks, um, including primarily about the gold dungeon, which is the screen that we're looking at right now. Um, I just finished a level 6 gold dungeon here on auto and even though I'm almost three four point three million power uh, I still can only get two stars on auto so you do I'm gonna go over that uh, in a little bit uh, tricks to basically just to get um, gold dungeon level six uh, three starred um, or if you're having trouble with some of the earlier ones too all right so really quickly to uh, Tips on getting gold and where to get it. Uh, you get some. <coughs> pardon me. Um, you get gold every with every mission that you accept uh, for his, your weekly missions. It all basically depends on your level and the grade of quest. Obviously, the higher your level and the higher the grade of quest, the more you get. Um, you do also get just a little bit out of uh, daily activity for doing your. 10 clear stages and then the uh, the first tier prize there. Um, you also get a, just a little bit from attending your guild. There, 7,500. You know, you get a little bit more depending on if you have more active uh, players or not, but um, not really much is going to get... You're not going to get much from there. Anyway, uh, you can also buy the uh, the large random chests, or if you have a higher level guild, you can get the giant chests. But honestly, for the 20 guild coins that it costs to get these chests, uh, I would prefer to use them on pretty much anything else, um, like the guild essence chests, clear tickets, even adventure keys, experience chests, especially if you're not up to level 80 yet. Uh, let's see, you also do get some from the rest rewards. Um, if it's maxed out, you get 35,000 um, from the rest reward. Uh, you can also get them from fishing. You can get some gold from fishing. You can get some of these little guys here, the uh, small goldfish. Um, and you can actually get those with the free basic bait. Uh, obviously, when you go to your guild shop, you get 30 free basic bait every day. Um, you don't get a really high percentage of them, but you you will get the small goldfish occasionally. And if they build up, it's not, uh, in con uh, not an inconsiderate amount of gold. Like, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and pop 100 of them right now just to show you how much you get. There you go, 425,000 gold for 100 small goldfish at level 80. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's see, and in Infinity Tower, you there's there's several floors where you get the uh, gold in the first clear every five floors. So starting on floor one, so one, six, ten, etc. Um, you get a good chunk of gold for your first clear, and then also you get gold on almost every floor except for like every, four of the floors on the one two three and four and then on the fifth floor you get gems but that's another spot let's see um another big one for me personally is for is camp now there is a there is a side note here when you go to collect from camp um you only get the gold on the active character that you're on. So, since I'm on my main Garkuth right now, I just got the gold in his uh, in his gold. So, keep that in mind when you're uh, collecting it. If you collect the gold on an alt, you're going to end up having it on that alt instead of on your main. So, make sure you collect it on whoever you actually want to have it. Um... Let's see, you do also get a little bit from uh, PvP Ranked Match Rewards. Let's see, your daily rewards are here. 
if you're in the top 5%, which is, uh, that's actually, once, as I've said before, that's really not too difficult to get, uh, as long as you've got it for at least uh, one, one and a half million might power, uh, you should easily be able to get 5%. And that's 60,000 gold for free every day, just for collecting it. Um, and then you do also get it from the, uh, you will occasionally get it from the, the wheel in the village, um, but there is a bunch of different prizes that you can get. But I like, to be honest, most of the time you end up getting gold from the wheel. As a side note, one of the things that frustrates me about the village is how long it takes to load. Why does it take this long to load? <laughs> Let's see, and also, um, you do get a lot of the achievements that you complete, uh, will give gold also. Oh look, I got, uh, probate. Excellent. Very soon I'm gonna go ahead and make a, make a full fit, uh, video on fishing, um, if you're into fishing, I highly suggest you you go for the classic bait. Like overall, it's the, in my opinion, it's the cheapest cost for the most benefit. Uh, the the free basic bait um, really isn't worth uh, buying with gold, but classic bait, in my opinion, is worth buying with the gold. Um, and you will also get a bunch of goldfish back, and it won't exactly even it out, but uh, the extra runes, jewels, um, adventure keys, skill points, uh, that all more than makes up for uh, what you lose in gold by buying the, the classic bait. Um, and I've done a, a few thousand of the classic bait, so I will go ahead and go over those numbers later. Um, let's see, and of course the 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 two biggest um, methods for getting gold. One is the gold dungeon that I mentioned earlier. Um, the other is adventure stages. Obviously, every time you complete an adventure stage, it gives you a, a decent amount of gold. Um, I did go ahead and go through the adventure stages uh, to try and figure out how to what would be the most efficient. Um, and in my opinion, if you're going by amount of gold per adventure key, um, if you, uh, most of the time you don't really run out of adventure keys, um, and they always come back, obviously, but um, if you want to get the most out of it, especially when it comes to, say, like doing a repeat battle at night, and you don't want to burn all of your adventure keys in the process and not have anything for the next day, um, then I highly suggest doing stage eights. Where, however high you can get, um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, um, the eighth stage will generally provide you the most amount of gold uh, per adventure key. And the reason I say that is because obviously with each each level you go up, each, you know, stage number, you get more gold for each higher stage, but, um, as an example for, uh, stage 21, I mean, chapter 21, uh, stage 8, 9, and 10, for stage 8, you get, uh, 40, over 4,600 gold per adventure key, because it only takes two, um, for stage 9, you get 1,870, um, per adventure key, but you do also on stage nine, you do get the, uh, D to B chest as well as the extra bonus year choice chest, which I always use for clear tickets personally. Um, let's see. And then the final one, 2110, um, it, yes, it numerically has the highest value of gold, but it costs seven adventure keys. So you only get 1,000. 365 gold per key, um, so that's definitely not worth it to me. Um, additionally, the the end stages with the Krakens are um, they take a lot longer 
when you're just doing them on the auto, because half of the time uh, your character will just stand there and not attack the Kraken. Um, be, like, for whatever reason. for It basically says that it's not... It doesn't think that it's in range to be able to hit. But if you manually hit the attack button, you'll still actually connect with the monster and do damage. I'm not sure what's up with that. The only character that gets by that is the wizard, because she's the only character in the game who has a, a basic ranged attack. So... She doesn't suffer from that same problem with the Kraken. Let's see. Um, if you're not up to doing the uh, the mo the uh, Mole Island stages, and you're still in uh, the earlier stages, once again, um, doing the the eighth stage, like say eighteen eight, you get significantly more. Uh, like all, like basically more than double the amount of gold per key that you do from uh, say 189 and 1810 um, the only difference is with the earlier stages uh, for chapters 1 through 18 you actually can go through that state those stages uh, those end stages a lot faster so if you're trying to do if you don't really care about uh, the efficiency with the adventure keys, and you're just more interested in getting gold as quickly as possible, um, then I would say go ahead and, and do an auto, do a repeat battle on, on 1810. Um, because, like, each time through the stage, depending on your power, uh, and which stage you can get to, but it should only take uh, about a minute or so for uh, your character to auto all the way through it. So, for time efficiency, 1810 is definitely the best bet for gold. Okay, and finally, as far as the gold dungeon goes, um, as I said, for step 6, even, even though I'm at 4.29 million power, um, I still could not auto my way through it. Uh, so, it does require manual. Um, if you're a newer player and you're still going through the other steps, the other levels, um, I went ahead and just got a list of how much you get for three-starring. Uh, step one, three-star, you get about 30k, uh, 30,000 gold. Two, you get 75,000. Step three, you'll get 112,000. Uh, step 4, 180,000. Step 5, 300,000. And step 6, if you're able to complete it, all 200 monsters, 3 star, um, you get about 412,000. So what I wanted to show you now was a, a, a trick that I personally do uh, for clearing uh, step 6. Um, what, and I'll go ahead and do it manually. I do it on semi-auto. Here we go, and I'll run through that right now. Basically, it's a trick using your rage skills. Here we go. Uh, first thing I do is I go ahead and burn through my skills quickly, uh, try to get these early kills, and hit the ultimate. And then now I'll go ahead and start using rage skills after this dies. There we go. Now, the reason... Um, I'm actually using these rage skills on the regular monsters, it's, and in my opinion it's preferable to target the regular monsters as opposed to the elites, um, is because you get to kill more of them, for one, and what you're doing is you're burning time. Okay, before I go here, I want you to watch my skill timers. There we go. My second skill had five seconds left in order for it to refresh. And now that I've done that, there it is. It's back. So just those four skills um, basically allowed... It allows the skill timers to refresh, to continue uh, their countdowns. But it stops the main timer of the dungeon. There we go. 
I'll show it to you one more time. Let's see here. Okay, 16. So as soon as that hits 10 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and pop it. So, and we have 30 seconds left. 10 seconds on the skill, 30 seconds on the clock. And there you go, 3 seconds left on the skill, still 30 seconds on the clock. And the ultimate skill um, also pauses the main timer. One thing that does need to be mentioned is that um, while you're in the middle of using a skill, the other skill timers stop, obviously. The, uh, the game clock, the dungeon clock keeps going, but the skill timers will stop. So it's kind of a balance between the two. Um, but that's just a quick trick. If you're having trouble getting those stages cleared, um, then go ahead and, and just use some rage skills uh, to get your regular skills to, refer to refresh so you can keep killing. And that's pretty much it. Um, let's see. Obviously, there's quite a few of the achievements that will give you gold. Oh, these are all gold boxes. Anyway, and that'll be it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to go over trip uh, tips and tricks on uh, ways to just level up quicker. Um, and focus, although it's it's pretty straightforward. There's not uh, not too terribly much that as far as tricks that you can do to level up aside from say fishing, but we'll get into that. Um, as usual, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, please give me a like, subscribe, share, uh, and if you have any questions at all or want anything covered more in depth, go ahead and just leave me a comment below and I'll answer it as quickly as I can. And thank you for watching again and happy hunting!